All right. I like, I like all the sounds I'm hearing. Everyone's chatting and having a good time. This is exactly what we want. Sounds like we're mostly back. Um, so before we start with this next section, I just want to confirm that each table, well, it's fine. We'll be fine. Um, cool. So this is, this is going to be kind of more, uh, this is going to be less of me talking and more of you just trying out stuff. Um, I may have mentioned that we have a contributor playground repository in Kubernetes SIGs org. And if you haven't done so, I recommend that you go ahead and actually, you know what, we're going to talk about the workflow first. Um, so filing issues is actually one of the really important ways in which you can contribute to the community. Um, if we don't know what's wrong, we can't fix things. Um, and by we, I mean all of us, because you are going to be part of this community, too. Um, so it's, it's kind of this thing in open source where if something bothers you, people are basically going to say, so what are you going to do about it? Go fix it. And it's wonderful if you're in a position to do so. I know that it's not everyone's story, and that can sometimes be frustrating. But that's not going to be our story today. Um, that's the big button to file a new issue. Most of you are familiar with GitHub and its interface. This part we don't have automation for. You click on a button, you file an issue. Let me give you an example. Um, for, for things like the things you want to file issues for, there's basically three different kinds of issues. What, did I uh, miss something? Nope, I did not, sorry. Um, and with an example of a bug report, your first step is finding the bug. Oh, something's not working. Then the next step is where is it broken? And that's basically your, your queue, right? That's the repo where you want to file a pull uh, an issue in. Um, and then you are going to create a complete and detailed bug report with the correct labels. Um, the final step is following up, and that is where knowing your SIG and knowing the owner's files is going to be helpful. This is one of the templates in the project for filing an issue. And just, you know, follow the template instructions as best as you can. They're not the be all, end all. There's no, there's no, there's, there's very few hard and fast rules here. Um, just try and be as complete as you can. If some of the questions don't make sense, then skip those. Not all repos have issue templates. So there's also that, but some of them do. So. It is your turn next. Aw, I'm glad someone likes the kitty. <laughs> um, I want you to go ahead and go to um, <clears throat> the, actually, let's see. I'm going to stop, I'm going to start mirroring my screen, and I'm going to show you where I want you to go. Awesome. So what I want you to go is I want you to go to Kubernetes SIG's Contributor Playground. Hopefully the Wi-Fi will work for everyone. Let me know if there's problems. Um, you will see on the top page, I'll make this a little bigger maybe. Hmm. You'll see on the top page that there is a folder called Seattle. That's us. This is the folder in which we're going to do all of our work. This is going to be more important later as we do the pull requests. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So I want to go ahead and have on each table, I want to have two or three people, depending on the size of your table, um, go ahead and open an issue on the Contributor Playground repository. Um, these issues can be, um, for right now, they can just be a practice issue saying like, um, 
you know, hi, I think, I think the folder looks, you know, I think the folder looks great, or can we have, you know, think of something, but try to open an issue. Um, other possibilities are we have, in fact, we have an exercises folder, um, and we have some hidden typos in that folder, so maybe you can file an issue that involves, hey, there's something broken, fix the spelling in this thing. Um, be creative. Pick a few people. Any questions? Very cool. Go for it. Um, so for, for, for filing issues, you don't need to be in a folder. <clears throat> Sorry, I just heard a question there. So let me go ahead and go to issues. Seattle is cold, fix it. Excellent. I'm loving these. We need more unicorns? You're right. OK. So I am going to cheat. I'm going to go look at the exercises. Jeez. All right, it looks like we have a few issues up. More loading. This is fantastic. <laughs> um, I already see a few labels on there. So um, now I want the other people, the ones that didn't open an issue on their table, to find their table mates issues and go ahead and make comments on there. I want the people who opened the issue try to assign someone using this. I'm going to demonstrate. Right here, I'm going to assign Josh. And now there is an assignee at the top of this issue. Notice how the bot is telling you that it needs a SIG. Um, go ahead and add SIG contributor experience to your issues. Anyone should be able to do this. Um, perhaps this is a good time for me to introduce my uh, helpers, um, our other tutors, Tim Pepper and Yang Li in the back. Uh, if your table is encountering an issue that uh, issue uh, is encountering a problem that you don't know the answer to, just someone raise their hand and we'll come around and help you out. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so this is one of the things where you're uh, running into um, ass so assigning a reviewer. Um, you can only assign Kubernetes members as reviewers. So this is one of the first things that you should run into where the bot's like, we can't assign this, right? Is that the message you're getting? Yeah. Um, so in order to, you, you can, however, CC them with a slash CC like this. Whoopsies, sorry, there's a space in there. That should at least get people into your GitHub notifications, which is less effective generally. All right. It's looking good. I'm, I'm about ready to. Uh, add some of the more fun prow commands.
Um, So uh, one person opened an issue that said there's not enough animal photos in presentations. Let me introduce you to some of the more fun bot commands. Go, go, go. I have no idea why this is slow. <sighs> Come on. You can try this out yourselves and see what happens. Sorry? Yeah, I, uh, it, it's, I'm gonna, I've been turning my Wi-Fi off and on the entire time. Meow is not working? Let's refresh. Meow is totally working. Uh, yeah, the bot code, I actually don't know about the meow, um, but uh, it's, in, it's in test infra, the test infra repo. It's, uh, it's, it's prow. There's lots of plugins. I'm going to turn this off. So for some reason, the animals aren't working for me, sadly. Um, but they were working for some other people, so you should definitely try it. Look at that, everyone. It was just the internet being flaky. Here's my pupper. The cat didn't work, but. You should also be able to do. I'm just, I know I'm tempting fate here because meow didn't work for me. Uh, it's hung again. Oh well. Okay. Let me go back to the other thing. Fantastic. Okay. So um, from the sounds in the room and the lack of hands in the air, I can surmise that um, everyone opened, successfully opened issues and also got to know some of the more fun parts of the bot automation. It is time for the next part of this exercise. I have a couple more slides there. I have no idea where that just went. Here we are. Um, so filing issues is a not to be underestimated part of contributing. Because if there's a problem and no one knows about it, then we have a weird Zen joke at this point. Oh my goodness, what in the world happened? Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is great. Don't you all love live demos? This is fabulous. What 
is that even? Why is it trying to go to that thing? Okay. Um, I, you know, 